You all right, buddy? You drunk? A little? Do Washington next? What is this, your birthday party? The hell is this guy? Dazzle me. The state Washington? You just said perform Jew? What do you do, sleeveless? What is it? It's a crummy job. I figured with with you calling me Jew and you not having sleeves. <laughs> I didn't think you were top of the food chain, so to speak. No, it's a crummy job. I sell toasters. You sell toasters? Why don't you go take a bath with one real quick? You know, uh, all right. All right. You guys drinking hard tonight? They don't serve booze here? Yeah. Brian? Why the f would they book me in a venue without alcohol? Is there a reason? Not, t not tonight? <laughs> Who are they, my ex-girlfriend? You, oh, you can bring it in? Oh, that seems pretty relaxed. Or this guy's just a piece of shit. He's like, I got this malt liquor, I've got a gun, everything's great. I'm... A shot of vodka? Where? What are you, a genie? A certified piece of shit. How do you get certified? Do you go to like the DMV or something? What happened? Are you unemployed or what? Maybe we could find you a job here tonight. Is anyone looking for a piece of shit? <laughs> he is certified. So oh, thanks. Women are always like worried you're gonna cheat in a relationship and they're like, did a lot of women come up to you? And I'm like, some people came up to me. Uh, <laughs> gay dude or no? I'll be gay for you. Oh. I mean, I'm not gay either, but I guess we have to if we want to make this work at this point. I... Are you in a relationship or no? I feel like I'm being sexually harassed at work right now. I... Is this how women feel when they walk by a construction site? <laughs> Who are you here with, buddy? Well, this just keeps getting worse and worse for me, huh? He's like, they're all in love with you too. And we'll be waiting out back. Damn, Philly's getting dangerous again. I... It's good to be here, man. This is, uh, we've been traveling like crazy. And, uh, oh, hello. How are you? Say Samuel. Are you my mother? Holy shit. You're that old? How old are you? All right, are you a little bit up already? I look great. None of this is adding up here, right? <laughs> and where does he do? Garage doors? How'd you get in that one? It's hard. It's hard? No, I didn't ask what being married to her is like. I asked what garage doors. I have a accident a long time ago. It was gonna get heavy. I thought we were gonna have a fun night, but... That does explain a lot, though, honestly. But you know what I... I'm funny half the time. You're annoying all the time. So... Uh... <laughs> Is this fucker asleep right here? How was it, sir? Was it a good nap? Clients? What, are you a drug dealer? I take my job very seriously. There's two or three people in downtown Richmond who haven't gotten all their fentanyl yet. Real estate? Real estate? I feel like that could have waited. The negotiations right now. Actually. Negotiations? Oh, it's, it's, it's tough. Yeah, you try performing for these types of people. I mean, it's, it's not easy for me either. 3,000 square feet. Is it a nice area? Yeah. North Carolina, though. North Carolina. 
Man, you really are all over the place, huh? <laughs> you live in Raleigh? And you came here? We came here for you. I, I was just in Raleigh. <laughs> it's like two months ago, yeah. What are you, fucking dumb? <laughs> and these are your buddies? They all drove with you? Oh, and you came reluctantly. And... <laughs> All right. Brian, get this one guy a bodega cat shot. <laughs> right in the white shirt, f*** his friend. And, uh... <laughs> Give it to him and the other guy. I hope the sale falls through too, cocksucker. All right. <laughs> what else? <laughs> you look like the type. I look like the type of what? To pee on a dog? What a weird insult. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not, what's with the sir? You respect me? <laughs> this is the most confusing interaction of my life. <laughs> you look like you would piss on a dog, <laughs> sir. <laughs> what kind of work are you in, sir? That really puts a lot of light on this conversation we just had. <laughs> you know what's weird is weed heightens my awareness. How so? It would keep me from yelling out at a live show, probably. <laughs> hey! Portland, Maine, hell yeah! This is awesome, this is... Portland, Maine, or as I call it, uh, Auschwitz for lobsters. <laughs> hey, if you're a lobster, you better run. Even Hitler wouldn't have taken the merch this far. I went, I popped into some of your sidewalk stores, just lobsters on everything. You guys can still get abortions here, right? Yeah. I actually heard you guys do them special. You do it like a lobster. You throw the fetus into a boiling pot and, uh, it moves around a little, but it's done in a second. And, and then you crack the, you put a little butter on it, and you know. This guy's got the nicest legs I've ever seen in my life. This is insane. I mean, this is like fucking short shorts. Five inch inseams? Well, you never see a guy proudly go, five inches. That's interesting. I mean, you got nice legs, though, I'll tell you. I'm straight, but I look at those legs and I'm like, am I? <laughs> this guy does squats five days a week, easy. How old are you? 43? With those fucking yams right there, are you kidding me? Just a little of the shorts I've ever seen on a man. What if this is the whole rest of the show? But like, we thought Sam would close strong, but he just really harped on this guy's outfit. Is that your lady right there? I'm your whole pass? That means you can... That... You can't do that when it's like an attainable celebrity. It's gotta be like Matthew McConaughey or some shit. It can't be some guy who I'm like, yeah, I'll f*** you, why not? I don't know. With a what? Oh, you, she said, you said the same thing to Mark Maron? I think she's just like a chick who's trying to fuck comedians who are miserable. I think she just likes cranky Jews. She was like Mark Maron, he put, back when Gilbert Gottfried was alive, she tried to fuck him, I'm like, Jesus. You'll settle for Mark Norman, all right. Hey. He's, uh, well, Mark will stick his dick anywhere, so I... You're in the minority, Missy. Because. I need that emotion, that anger, that love, that fire, that all of you, you seem like a lot. Yeah. <laughs> this is a red flag for me right here. I need everything. I need fire. Bipolar. So, I. <laughs> Where do you guys meet each other? Bumble. Really? Yeah. So you met on a, on a robot? <laughs> Where'd he take you on the first day? Barbecue. You know why that's a good first day? Because he probably didn't even try to have sex with you, right? 
You had sex after barbecue on a first date? That is an insane... Baby, where are we going? Indian. And then what? Anal. Who's going hard tonight, huh? Piccolo. Piccolo, all right. Who's going hard tonight? I'm drinking a calorie conscious beer, my friend. Are you like, do you care about staying fit? Your girlfriend's shaking her head. Huh? How long have you been together? Month and a half. Damn, that's, that's pretty recent for her to be so uh, rude. You take her out to like a bar or a dinner, what do you do? We went out for dinner and then hit a bar up afterwards. What kind of work are you in, miss? All these fucking big words. <laughs> what does logistics sales mean? Uh, I'm a logistics broker. That was very helpful, thank you. <laughs> I, I sell loads. You sell what? <laughs> you sell loads? <laughs> Damn, I can see why he took you to dinner. <laughs> oh, thank you. Brian, everybody. Please welcome Sam Morell. Hey. You're gonna be at the Ryman tomorrow, and it's all for your class act tour. Are you a class act? I'm very classy. I think the show is a layer of sophistication, you know, globalization we talk, uh, immigration, oh, really? world hunger, and just a dash of poop jokes for the children. <laughs> I like to close the show in drag by reading Goodnight Moon to the kids. Okay, that, sign me up, yeah. baby. It's Tennessee, they seem to like it. <laughs> Anyone else drinking hard? Yeah, what do you got, what do you got, buddy? I'm just going uh, dry until later. Dry until later? I didn't ask you about your girlfriend. No. All right. Oh, you don't drink because you don't want to pee? Yeah. Man, you, you would hate food. It's a similar effect. Sam? Yeah? Don't be a dick. Reply to my DM. Uh, oh. <laughs> that makes me a dick? <laughs> Women have so much more confidence than men. Can you imagine if I went to a female comedian show and I was like, you fucking whore. What, what do you do? Paint trucks for the military. You paint trucks? That's fucking, that's kind of a weird gig, right? Cause you're like, I gotta head over to the base to women. And they're like, are you in the military? And you're like, sort of. I, I paint stuff. But what color do you paint them? Camo, so you're like, you know, kind of a good painter, I guess. <laughs> Did you have dreams of other type of painting? You're colorblind? <laughs> Damn, that's... I guess that's an inspirational story, but also... But also, maybe you're not the guy to be painted. <laughs> They're getting shot at, they like, the camo wasn't done right. come there's a good reason for that I think I, <laughs> I think it's I don't know the hell you are I'm a mother -fucker. damn this, this turned around real quick huh maybe it's your personality I don't know what are you drinking miss Did you say Tito's and vodka that's a strong drink right there what are you drinking, a Jack Daniels and whiskey? Well, that explains why your car is wrapped around this pole. Are you here with people or are you solo? Oh, shit. You're Ubering home, right? Well, you're, an, you're an Uber driver? I don't think that's how Uber works. Guy trying to pick up a drunk chick. I'm an Uber driver. I'm like, I think there's an algorithm. I don't think, I don't think you just raise your hand. I'll take it from here. <laughs> give me your problem and I'll fucking solve it for you right now. I give really good advice. What do you got, so? I heard that fucking goat laugh. <laughs> What's wrong? Your girlfriend of three years, what happened? We were living in a van for about a year. A van? 
I'm gonna stop you and say you might deserve to be cheated on. <laughs> she left you for a guy with a studio apartment. <laughs> what kind of work are you putting? Vandalism and graffiti. Do you really do that? Do you, do you get like anything for that or? You get arrested? Damn, Albany is definitely living up to what I pictured. <laughs> What would you want to do if you get a job? <laughs> Nothing really. Nothing? Well, it sounds like you f***ing did it, dude. You... I mean, this is... <laughs> I love it here, I love it. No, nah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> I mean, we're leaving right after the show, but it's, uh, it's good. It's a good place. <laughs>